Hey and welcome back to another video and in today's video we're going to look at Spacer and how it's useful and where we can use it in SwiftUI so let's get straight into it. So Spacer in SwiftUI allows us to fill the remaining space within a view. So if we wanted to move two views to the left or right we could actually do this by using a Spacer. So let's actually look at how we can accomplish this now. So what I'm going to do is just delete this and we're going to create a VStack so we can show all the different examples. And in the first example, we're going to have a stack with my name. So if we just run this on the SwiftUI preview now, we simply just have my name in the middle here. But what about if we want to move this to the right hand side? Well, in order to do this, all we need to do is actually just apply a spacer. And now, by adding a spacer at the start of our HDAC, it actually pushes our content to the right-hand side, as you can see here. Now, what about if I want to have the same effect, but this time I want to push it to the left-hand side? Well, let's actually duplicate this. And this time, we'll move this to the end. And as you can see now, it pushes our content to the left-hand side. And if you wanted to as well, you could actually center your views by actually adding a space to the start and the end. So let's again create a copy of this. And then this time we'll create a spacer at the start and we get it in the center. But we actually don't need to use this because by default Swift UI in our HTAC is actually centering our view for us. And also as well in my video layouts in Swift UI that you should check out on my channel. If we wanted to, we actually don't need to use a spacer to actually lay out our views to the left and the right hand side. Instead, we actually could just apply the frame modifier onto it. So what we're going to do is just delete this. And instead, on our HDAC example here, let's actually apply the frame modifier with a max width of infinity and we'll set the alignment to be leading so we can see our view on the left hand side. So as you can see now, because we said that we want our HDAC to fill up the whole container and we want its children within it to be aligned to the leading, we get this effect and we don't need a spacer. So you may be wondering, what is the point of spacer then? Like when would I actually want to use it? Well, what about if we're in a situation where we need to lay out the name on the left and the name on the right hand side? Well, this is where stuff like Spacer becomes useful. It's really useful when you need to create almost like awkward layouts. So what we're going to do is on our HDAC, we're going to center, we're going to add in a space, we're going to add in a spacer between the middle of these two views so they separate. Actually, no need to duplicate it. Within this example here, let's just type out spacer like so. And now you can see we have it where our name is on the left and our actual name, Tons Dev, is on the right. So in order to actually see this a bit better, let's just give them both a background. In order to see all our different examples, we're going to give all our HDACs a unique background as well. Cool. So now we're able to see all our different HDACs. But what about if we're in a situation where we want this to be aligned to this here, but we actually want to control the space in between the two elements. So let's actually see an example of this, where if I was to copy this and paste it, and we'll change the background of this to something different. But now I actually want the tons dev to fill up all the remaining space. So I'm going to set a frame and I'm going to set the max width to be infinity under the alignment to be leading like so. And then cool. So now as you can see, the tons dev is actually filling out the remaining space it can, but we're telling it to lay out its content on the leading edge. But what if I want to control the space in here? Well, you could actually apply some padding onto this text view. But instead of doing that, there's another way of doing this by actually using the spacer. So when you're working with spacer, you can actually define the length that you want the spacer to be in terms of when you want to space out two elements that are near each other. So what we could do here is actually specify the min length. And I could say I want the min length to be 50. And because the min, we said the min length should be 50, you'll notice that we now have a 50 
pixel space between our views. So we can actually use this to space out our elements on the screen. Something else I want to show you is that if I was to if I want to add a background onto Spacer, so let's say we want to add a background of like black, you'll notice that nothing gets rendered on the screen. And the reason why that is is because Spacer doesn't actually get rendered onto the screen like other views. So that's something that you want to keep in mind. So you don't actually want to use Spacer as a view for like laying stuff out. You want to use it like the name implies to so just space elements that may be close and interacting with one another. So that's everything from me in this video. If you enjoyed it, I'd love to hear your feedback in the comment section below. Also as well, if you haven't already, I'd really appreciate it if you gave this video a thumbs up and if you subscribe to the channel and if you subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to get updates whenever I release a new video. That's everything from me. I'll catch you on a bit. Deuces.